So I don't really show many harvest videos on the channel so I thought you know what the pumpkins are getting ready so I'll do some of these. So here we have jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. You can tell it's ready because all the leaves have dried up and the tendril has dried as well. It's not fully pumpkin orange yet but I think a couple of days on the window sill and it'll just sort itself out. So cutting that off there, nice size, good volleyball size. And these are designed to be a bit smaller, so you can see the jackal lantern size. Let's put it down, have a quick look at it. You can see here, nice, good um, colour. And we haven't decided what we're going to do with it yet. Are we going to make it into a bit of a display piece? Or are we going to actually cook with it? Uh, we'll see what works out. And around the garden, we've got a few other things that we're going to look at as well. So with the garden, you can actually save old seeds yourself. So I'm saving charred seeds here. How these work is we leave them in the pot charred go to seed it dries up and we get loads of seed for next time so this will be a leafy green similar to like spinach type situation so it's a charred so just basically taking all the uh, seeds off and once you've got all the seeds off we've got another batch for planting next season and you've got loads that you can see how many they are so you don't really need to buy seeds if you plant ahead slightly uh, alongside this one we actually have some uh, lettuce left gone to seed as well which we hopefully get some lettuce seeds from as well so we wouldn't have to worry about these seeds next time they did the chard grew very well it tends to do well early on or later in the season not in the midst of summer just get rid of it and then throw it in the bin so the seeds don't contaminate your compost you get chard popping up everywhere and you can see here you got loads plenty of seeds nice and dry and here's the lettuce that we've left to go to seed as well so there's two of them there they look quite nice this summer's not been great but you can see we've got a decent amount of stuff another pumpkin here it could do with a bit longer but i'm just going to take it off now because we're harvesting so you can see this is a similar size we weighed them they were 2.5 kg each and a good option good size feel nice and they look great we've got some zucchinis as well that we've left to go a bit bigger so you'll see those as well but next up we we'll look at our runner beans these also tend to do well uh, towards later summer like now it's september and they're actually coming out every time we walk past a couple of days i get a handful and these are runner beans you can boil them and they're actually great and below that you can see we've got some corn as well so we are growing corn and a couple of the corn cobs have actually formed i did a quick sneak peek to see if we had any uh, corn on the actual cob and it looks like we do have so fingers crossed a couple of more uh, weeks and those should be nice um, as corn cobs as well they're quite small but first time trying corn so you can see here this actually got its uh, it's been pollinated we put them quite close together and uh, you can see probably there it's a bit of corn there it's not really yellow yet but we'll see what happens as the the months come and inside the green eyes we've got some tomatoes as well so we'll have a look at those and take a couple of those off again here every day we're getting something turned red so we're kind of doing well with these as well so it's doing nicely so tomatoes and we also have cucumbers indoors as well so let's have a quick look at a couple of cucumbers and just do a couple of harvests there i will show you everything that we've harvested afterwards and we've kind of we've grown everything from seed so if you're following the channel you'll know we do everything from seed ourselves and it's not a bad haul two pumpkins two big marrows uh, tomato runner beans cucumber everything's nicely well the right summer isn't it so winter squash we're coming into winter soon so everything's kind of ready not decided what we can do with it hopefully this helps you i'll see you on the next video